today at Wangla Dam. Been doing a bit of lure fishing and bait fishing the last few days for some Murray cod and yellow belly but haven't had much luck. So I thought I'd come down into this little back bay here and catch a few of these carp. There's heaps of carp in here so it'd be good to get a few out of the dam. So I thought I'd come down and get some, a bit of fun. Just using six pound braid with six pound leader and a uh, little size for bait holder worm hook no sinker and just got some live worms here good fun to catch carp when there's nothing else biting and yeah cleaning a few out the dam at the same time here's a nice fat worm just put that on the hook slide it up like that. Them little bait holders on that long shank helps hold them on there good. Alright, once you got it rigged up, what you do is you just look in here. Most of these back little bays in white angle are full of carp. And what I'm doing is I've got no weight. I just cast it out. And then I'm just slowly winding it in and you'll see them, they'll come up and chase it. It's a good way to cover some ground and it gets their attention. Because when you see them chase it, oh, that one just hit the surface over there. When you see them chase it and you stop it, they just turn away from it for some reason. Usually you can just chuck it in front of them and they'll eat it. For some, some reason today, they just like it moving, so I just chuck it out and just wind it slow past them. Just a slow wind like that, just slowly roll it just underneath the surface. And they'll come up and just smash it. There's just so many in here. They're always up in these little back bays and they just make a mess of the water. So dirty. So it's good to get a few out. Oh, here comes a few now. Swimming back this way. I'll just swim up and down in this little bay here. Good fun to catch on light gear. Like I said, kill a bit of time catching them when there's nothing good biting. At least you're catching a fish. Doing a bit for the environment, getting a few out of the dam. Make it better for the navy fish. And the good thing about doing this with the worm, chucking it out slow winding, you got a chance of catching yellow belly in that too. Finally grabbed it. Just chucking it out, just slow winding it in. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Oh no, he's behind a tree. Good fun to catch on six pound gear carp. Yeah, just chucking the worm out with no weight and just slow one it past them because if you let it sit there they won't hit it. They want it moving. I should have actually brought me fly gear down 
It would have been taking the flyer today. Uh, might give that a go tomorrow. There you go there. Little carp. There we go there. One less pass in my angler. Alright, let's get the hook out of this carp. When you catch these carp, guys, you're not allowed to release them back into the water. There's just so many in there stirring up no mud. They just wreck the habitats for the native fish. So just throw them right up on the bank and let the foxes eat them. Another pest. <laughs> oh, here we go. Something's biting at it. Let him take a bit of line. Jeez, this one's putting up a fight. I'll get out of there. It's a carp. Try and get you in the trees. Easy went hard, this one. Went real hard. That time I just had the bait sitting on the bottom. I weren't moving it. And I got in. I just started getting a few little taps and I thought, oh, here we go. Might be something different. And then I let him take a bit of line, just free spooled it and hooked it and it just peeled off. Just another carp there. the carp. There we go there. Another carpy. Oh well, another pest out of the water. It's 
two carp for the day. Awesome fun to catch on light gear. Just got him on the worm and I still got me bait. Awesome fun to catch on light gear. Don't chuck them back in the water either. Just another pest. There we go there, two carp. They'll get eaten by foxes or something later. You know what? Bit of fox food. Feed another pest. <laughs> One pest to another pest. Here we go here. Getting a run. Let him take it down a bit this time. Yep, we're on. Taking some drag. This could be a big carp. Holy hell. Where is he going? Straight for that tree. Don't go over there. This one's peeling. Oh, he's going for that tree. See if we can get a bit of line back on him before he goes around that tree. Have a good fight, this one. So much fun on the light gear. Oh, he's a big one. It's a big one. Jesus, this is a big carp. No wonder he was peeling. Must have been that big one I seen earlier swimming in there. Gonna be his last swim if we get him. He's peeling line, he was way out near that tree there. Almost got me on the tree. Or only just got him hooked too. Better not go too hard on him here. Get off. Get 
that one. It's a good sized carp. It's a big one. It's a bigger one. Geez, he pulled a bit of string too. Okay guys, there's the free carp that I caught today. Had a bit of fun on the six pound gear. Catching a few carp. Got a few pests out of Wyangala Dam. Good fun to catch when there's no Murray Cod or Yellow Belly on the bite. You just come into one of these little back bays and there's always plenty of carp and catch a couple of them. Gives you something to do and they're a good fight. Good fun on light gear. Alright guys, I'm going to pack up my gear and head home before it gets dark. Out of here. Sticky fishing fishing.